blessing to be here with you tonight. I also like to recognize those that catch the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. I am your host and Trisha Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. It is indeed uh, another night that we are blessed to be alive and well. And another topic that I think that it's going to take having an open mind, an open heart uh, to process as we get ready to discuss um, what 2020 is trying to tell us or what it's telling us. Uh, what is 2020 all about? And we know that for most of us, we sit here and we say, you know, 2020, it has not been kind and that it, it comes with its share of uh, heartaches and it has come with its share of disappointment. Uh, but also, guys, it's come with its share of blessings for some of us as well. So uh, we want to take a look at uh, 2020 uh, just from some different perspectives and ask ourselves the question, uh, are we really missing the message um, in this 2020? Are we really, uh, is there a message that is being sent to us that we could potentially be missing? And um, only uh, you can answer that. So as you guys are logging on to join me tonight, uh, feel free to like and share this video. I always encourage, encourage that. Like and share the video. And for those that are listening on the replay, you know, share it um, with your friends. Share the message, you know, that way that um, the things that, I say that helps you may also continue to help and be of service to someone else. So as you guys are joining me tonight, send me a shout out. Let me know that you're there with me tonight. I'm not going to hold you long. Uh, it's not a whole lot that I can say. This is another uh, audience uh, pick topic. Hey, Diane, how are you, buddy? It's another audience pick topic. I have one more topic that uh, I will be addressing this week, and then we're going to uh, move on into other content. Tomorrow night, we'll be talking about marriage maintenance. That's the one that I've selected for uh, tomorrow night, marriage maintenance. And so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I still had several uh, to pick from, but I think I'll talk about marriage maintenance tomorrow night. Keisha, glad to have you here with me tonight. So... Uh, 2020, you know, what? what is 2020 all about? What is it trying to tell us? And are we really missing a message um, in all that is going on in 2020? And, and that is the question to ask. And I really don't know if I have the answers. I, I really do not know that I have the answers uh, for that. Because, Brittany Cocker, glad you're here with me. And I am doing well, just trying to uh, maintain Diane, just trying to maintain even uh, tonight as I'm in a press, in a press emotionally. You know, guys, I know that many of us are going through 2020 has not been kind to some of us, or so it looks that way. And we're dealing with so many different things, even in politics and uh, things that are still going around and surfing around in the media. And it causes us to... Uh, Feel all kinds of certain ways. So for you guys that are going through tonight that are here with me, let me just encourage you to steady your feet. That That's first and foremost. Steady your feet. We know that some of the things that you're going through, it does not feel well. Uh, we know that it seems a little harsh. There's many things that we don't have answers for. But I believe that through all we are going through, that when we get through this, there is uh, greater things and greater heights and greater opportunities on the other side of what we're going through. And I say that because more than anything, 
I see 2020 scratching us emotionally, mentally. I see 2020 causing us to shift our mindsets to take on different perspectives. It, it's, it's shifting our mindsets to think more create, creatively and to think more outside the box. And do you know that in your mind, that is the house of the heart of the man? This is where our control system is. And so with 2020 impacting so much of our mental capacity, causing us to scratch, causing us to think, causing us to redo the way we've always done things or be a little less critical on things that we've always been so critical to or to have more compassion and be more loving and be more in tune with uh, other people that we would not ordinarily be in tune to. I believe, therefore, there is a deeper message in 2020. So with, hey, Rita, how are you, babe? So with whatever that you're going through, good, bad, indifferent, ugly, whatever, whatever you're going through, let me just encourage you tonight that there's purpose in it. And, and I know many of you, like, like, like myself, are losing loved ones. We're uh, losing jobs. We're losing friendships. We're losing uh, community. Just so much. We don't know who to trust. There is so much. And we, we can sit here and we can say, well, where's the good in that? But I believe yet still, we are important. Our destiny, we must fulfill. And if it has taken all of this, all that we've gone through, all that we're going through to get our attention and get us to a place to where now our minds are usable and no longer limited and we're able to think and we're able to solve problems and we're able to be creative and we're able to uh, problem solve and, and do all these things that it's caused us to do just to survive, I believe that there's a greater purpose in that. I, I, I just honestly believe that. And I just think in the uh, biblical uh, side of things, when uh, it talked about the world system and how we're so caught up as Christians and as believers, caught up in the world systems and, and, and how uh, we're so distracted. I can see all of these things come to pass. But instead of being distracted over the past eight months, I believe that some of us have become more in tune we have become more sensitive. We have become more focused on higher power, on uh, sources and resources that uh, are higher than ourselves. We have made connections that we would not have ordinarily made. We are having opportunities that we would not ordinarily have opportunities. And for some of us, we're still holding on. We're still trying to hold on to familiar things. But for others, we're, we're, we're finally saying, you know, I'm going through all this crazy stuff. There's got to be something different. And you know what? You're right. I believe that there's got to be something different. I think once we get to the point to where we can get our minds wrapped around everything is that's going on and just say, okay, you know, I'm going to, uh, sit in this, and I'm just going to uh, uh, mouse, uh, shy mouse. Uh, thank you for joining me, hon. Thank you for joining me. And, uh, let's see what you said here. You left a comment. I believe it too. This year has been an eye opener, but my create creative side came out and took off. Yes, but it, and and this is another thing with 2020, guys. Um, many of us have been enslaved for so long. <laughs> and I must say it, many of us have been enslaved for so long. Other people have been doing the thinking for us. 
They tell us when to get up, when to lay down, when to come to work, when how long to stay, and what to do while we're there. They, they made the decisions for us. They tell us how much we're worth through these wages and, and different things like that. And we had been so comfortable in that for so long that now I think 2020 is telling us now it's your time. So Shine Miles, when you sit here and you say that uh, this year has uh, been an eye-opener, I can see that. I can see that happening. When our minds are shifted, when... We can finally break free from having to, somebody to tell us everything, from, from, from having somebody to tell us what we're worth and uh, look for other people's affirmations. When our minds are open, when our minds are set free, we are no longer enslaved through the opinion or through the uh, driving force of other people. And so uh, I think that this is where 2020 is, is, is really getting us to. We have been enslaved. We have uh, been controlled. There, there is no reason why in the past eight months we should still be waiting for someone to tell us something or open up a door for us or find, uh, open up opportunity for us. This is the time more than ever we ought to be breaking down those doors and breaking down those barriers and reaching out and stepping in to new grounds and new territories. And yes, I know it's uncomfortable. It is definitely uncomfortable. But anything new <laughs> for that season is going to be uncomfortable. Anything that is uncomfortable, it's almost a sure fine reassurance that that is a higher force higher than you that is uh, uh, ordaining those steps. Because if we could do it on our own with little uh, discomfort and, and, and with little thought, uh, you know, we think it was us. We think that we're the ones that's doing all this. But 2020 uh, is not a surprise to our creator. Whoever your creator is, it's a higher source and uh, it's, it's not a surprise. I, pr I promise you that no matter who your creator is, 2020 is not a surprise. Now, what I believe has to happen as a result in order for us to really get the message, I believe that what has to happen and what we see happen and the reason why um, it's, it's so difficult for some of us is that some things have to shed off or break off from us. That means everybody, this, this shift that is going on in 2020, it's not for everybody. So that means um, you'll see uh, friendships that may be still friendly and may be still considered friendships, but uh, they're not going to occupy your space and your time and your mental capacity the way it once was. You're still going to be able to have that relationship. It's just the dynamics of those relationships are going to look different. What it's also looking like is uh, loss. Things that we consider little gods or things that we consider um, um, uh, high in, in, in our lives. You know, we give a lot of time and a lot of uh, space and a lot of thought, uh, a lot of finances and stuff to these little gods in our life. You know, I think that a lot of that is changing also. So so there's a lot of loss. The, the gods of our jobs where we think that we just worship these jobs and we feel like um, our identity and our, and our worth is built into that job. You know, I believe that this is why some of it is being stripped from us is because our creator is sending out a message that you are created for more than this. You know, your um, purpose, your destiny, uh, there's so much more in you that you're not tapping into because you've gotten comfortable where you are. So in spite of it all, guys, and I'm getting ready to wrap up for tonight. I do not want to hold you long. I just want you to understand that in spite of it all, and I know that we've all been impacted 
by loss of some sort. We've all been impacted by um, lack in some sort, but we have all had to think outside the box and be creative. So think of the dynamics of that. Focus more on being creative. Focus more on being positive. Focus more on how to solve the problem. That is where our focus should be. We have to shift. And I think the message in 2020 is letting us know we must shift. If we're going to make this next uh, level, if we're going to make it through this next season that is coming quickly, we must make the shift now. That shift begins in our mind. Don't resist it. Don't fight against it. Uh, don't, don't look at it negative. And if you, you are connected with negative critical people that continue to put negative and critical thoughts and negative critical conversations in your presence, you must begin to eliminate it. That's why it gets on your nerves. So this is why it's bothering you. So we must make sure that we are connected with people so that we can hear and focus without the distractions. So 2020, it has not looked good, but yet it is. I think there are so many hidden gems, so many hidden blessings in 2020. We just have to press through. So I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. I appreciate the, audi uh, the audience who uh, picked this topic. I hope that it has... Uh, giving you some clarity on what 2020 is all about so that we don't look at it in a negative uh, standpoint, even though, you know, we're feeling the effects of it. Make sure that we get the best good from it. Okay, guys, I'll be right back here tomorrow night as I finish out our last night of the audience pick topic. Well, uh, I believe it's going to be marriage maintenance. I believe that's what the topic tomorrow is going to be. Like I said, I had several to choose from, but I think I'm going with that one uh, just for um, the sake to make sure that I reach um, each of you guys at each and every different uh, levels that we are and relationships that we are. So I'll be right back here tomorrow night, 10 p.m. I am your host and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. Good night, everybody.